Welcome to Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Vengeance X by Fire Cornhole. This is the newest bag in Fire's lineup. Let's go ahead and dive in, break this bags down. As always, we'll start with materials. Slow side, this is the same exact slow side you find on the Lucky Pro Sniper, the BG Witcher, True Cornhole Scourge. Um, there's some other bags on the list that use it. It's the same material that Fire uses on the slow side of the Incinerator, but they flip it over and use the back side of it here. It's a, it's like a six, six and a half speed. It, it plays a little quicker, maybe six and a half, seven, what's new, but as you start to break it down, it softens up. It kind of gets a little bit of dirt in there. It slows down to a six, six and a half speed. It's very hole friendly, but it still has some control to it. So if you want to throw it, it's, it's better suited to me for running bags in the hole and going hole for hole. But if you do want to throw a blocker occasionally here or there, you can do that. You can, you can slow this material down and put a blocker up to when you need to from time to time. Uh, so we're going to six, six and a half on the slow side. Fast side, this is that same material you find on the fast side of the Pro Sniper viper it's if you've thrown bags at all you've probably thrown this material it's it's the most popular fast side material it's out there it's great for pushing and collecting blocks uh, blowing up piles cleaning up messes sliding the board any conditions look at about a six six and a half slow nine on the fast side for these vengeance x bags template wise this is a large template bag it, it's a bigger bag it's also a very thin bag well, when i when i kind of measure the thickness this is right on the edge of being of the minimum thickness for bags in fact if i really squash it and, and push it down i can almost get this bag to be too thin which worries me a little bit because as these bags break in if they more these are not fully broken as they break more if they start stretching anymore at all there's a good chance this bag may fail in inspection i mean it is it is a super thin bag which means it has a ton of fluff to it it's a very loose very floppy bag so if you like flop you like looseness you're gonna love this i mean i can just fold this bag completely in half no problem whatsoever just taco it right up which gives the bag a ton of forgiveness this looseness this floppiness, this thinness makes the bag super forgiving on the landing so if you don't throw a flat bag you it's not gonna punish you there's little to no kick whatsoever in this bag it, it doesn't really matter how that bag gets the board it's gonna land flatten out and slide the board fairly straight so it's definitely a very forgiving bag landing it's also very forgiving around the hole i talk about landing zones and i, I tell you these large Large floppy bags have a large landing zone. This is one of the largest landing zones out there. It's a super forgiving bag. So if you're struggling with accuracy and you're missing your mark left or right, as long as you can get the corner of this bag to come up there and just, just dip in that dip in that hole, it's going to grab the bag, pull it back, and, and drip it back in the hole or leave it there so you can come collect your next bag. So it's super forgiving landing, super forgiving around the hole. In order to gain that forgiveness, you have to give up something. And you're going to give up a little bit of control. And what I mean is, is in the grip. You know, even when I butterfly grip this, typically when I butterfly grip a, a normal bag or a fuller bag, I completely lock it. I fill it up with beads, I lock it or fill, lock it down, and I have complete control when I throw it. This bag still has some movement. There's looseness here. There's, 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 there's not enough fill to fill the whole bag up. So the bag has some movement, which means when I'm releasing the bag, it's not coming. I'm not perfectly in control of it, which means the bag will sometimes flutter or wobble in the air when you're throwing it. Not an issue because again, as it lands, it, it's not going to affect the landing. It's not going to affect the way it's not, actually, it's not going to kick on you. It's going to land flat and straighten up and straighten out and run up the board. So it's not a big deal. But if, if, if that's something that you don't like, you probably don't want to go with a loose floppy bag like this. The fill in here is also, it's a, it's a flat fill. I, I don't know. It, there may be a blend of, there may be some flat disc with the regular flat fill i can't really tell but it's it's all flat i don't feel any round beads at all in here whatsoever so it's a completely flat fill in here which again adds to the forgiveness of the bag on a landing just gives that super soft landing to it uh, these bags are also acl stamps you play an acl you can throw these vengeance axis let's jump in and talk more about the playability on this and to me this bag is is just prime for that hole runner bag if you like to just get up there and run bags in the hole that's what this bag is suited for. This bag, in my mind, is a perfect bag for a Matt Guy. A fire sponsor player, I, I feel like they maybe have designed this bag with Matt Guy in mind because it's just a bag that you're, you're running bags in the hole. If someone, if your opponent throws a blocker, you're going to airmail over it or you'll you'll play a get around. You're kind of sneak around it, which Matt Guy likes to step out and get around bags. And this bag does exceptionally well because of the flop with it. If there's a blocker there, you just kind of aim for the corner. It's going to smash into it. It really accordions up and spins around, almost bullies their block out of the way, spins around, and, and your bag will go in or take hole control. That means it is a little difficult for you to collect bags. If you're throwing blockers with this, you want to keep them up there, you know, level one, level zero, right at the hole. If you've got them up at the hole, it's not too bad, because even if it, is, if it smashes into it when it spins around, it's going to kind of lift and spin the blocker back, and then it'll drop it back in and cause that bag to drift in. So as long as it's right at the hole, it's no problem. When you use level two or even a level three blocker, you've got to be really intentional about coming into that middle. If you try to clip a corner, and catch it on the edge here, what's going to happen is you're just going to spin that blocker bag out of the way. Your bag's going to go in the hole, which again, if that's your opponent's blocker, perfect. You're getting around their bag, no problem at all. If it's your blocker, you got to come more in the middle and ride that bag up. Now, there's plenty of speed on this fast side. To push a level 3 blocker, level 4 blocker upper, you can definitely do that. 
But you, again, you've got to be perfect in where you're hitting and hit it almost square in the middle and, and ride it all the way up like that. So I think this bag, again, is you have the ability to throw those blockers if you need to, but it's not a bag you're playing a dirty style game with. This is a bag that maybe you're throwing a blocker when you need to generate a manufacture some points here or there, throwing a third bag blocker occasionally, uh, or you're just you're just trying to put a bag up there in the way because it doesn't really make a great blocker. It's a very easy bag to kind of to kind of smash into and push through. It's a, it's it's not a sticky bag, so it doesn't really cause bags to kick off. If you're throwing a blocker up there, you want to leave like say, right at the hole because it's just a it's just going to be a visual obstacle, not really a physical obstacle. But sometimes you get that up there, opponents see blockers and they just change their throw. They panic. They try to do something cute. They try to throw a roll. Maybe they can't. They try to cut around it. They try to airmail, and you cause them to make a mistake. So you definitely have the control to do that. Just leave your blockers right at the hole. You know, right at the hole, even dripping in the hole a little bit. That way, you know when you come down with your bag it doesn't take much to clip it and take it in but again where this bag shines to me is that get around style play if you're a player because shot shaping there's really no shot shape in this bag this is not a bag that you're cutting rolling flopping it just it just is super forgiving the looseness the flop of it, it you've got to be advanced in those skill sets to have success with that and it, even an average or above average player you're not really doing it. i mean I, I could throw maybe a subtle cut but even if i was trying to throw cuts especially if i was trying to throw a cut to grab a bag it just wasn't doing it it just it just isn't going to do that but you don't need to do that again Again, when there's a blocker up there, you're just going to step out and aim for the corner or just sneak around. If you just get, if there's enough of a lane, if your opponent leaves a blocker kind of in the in the in the middle of the board or a little bit on their side, you're just step out and go and go right around it, grab the hole and go in. If it comes more to your side, step out, smash into their bag, spin it spin it around and take and and put your bag in, take hole control and leave their bag there. So it's a beautiful bag for playing that get around style game. So if you've been looking for that that get around style game. Or if you've been looking just for a bag, just to run bags in the hole with, that's where this Vengeance X comes in. Now, what's the difference with the Vengeance X and the regular Vengeance? Well, almost everything. I don't really get the name Vengeance X because it's it's a different slow side, completely different material and slow side. It's the same fast side material, but I'm pretty sure the Vengeance uses the other side of this material, the, the more texture side, the slightly slower side of this. Than what they, so they flip this material over. The fill may be the same. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've heard the Vengeance. And I don't know if fire has changed the fill in, in, in for in over the years in their bags or not so the fill may be the same but honestly it's really a completely different bag from the regular vengeance it's a different play style it's a faster bag i i, I almost wish fire had given a different name i think vengeance x makes it a little confusing at confusing as to what it is and what i would say is if you throw the vengeance uh, maybe you can add this to your lineup as a faster bag so if boards get sticky or slow because the vengeance does struggle in humidity and sticky slow boards then you can pull this down so maybe that's kind of the, the fire's thought process is is to come complement the vengeance more than be a variation of it if that makes sense so anyway overall it is a great bag if you like to just run bags in the hole if you don't throw a flat bag if you don't really have a cut or roll or flop in your arsenal that's where this vengeance x is, is probably an ideal bag for you and i think you'll have a ton of success with it leads me in availability and fire has a website firecornhole.com as always i'll put a link down in the description for you guys the bags these bags are $74.99 $75 for a set it was $10 shipping $85 shipped to you which is kind of on that mid to low price point for ACL stamp bags it's definitely worth it if this is the bag you've been looking for if you if you like the loose floppy style bags like the super forgiving bags I, I think you're going to like this and and at that $85 price point shipped to you it's worth taking a shot on you're not you're not dumping 120 130 bucks into it so I think it's worth it at that price point to give it a run if you've thrown these venge vengeance X's I'd love to hear your thoughts Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing guys' opinions. As always, I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.